screen, which we don't have. <laughs> Game's underway. Taken by Rody. Oh, nice pick up there. Came off the side. Roger Williams is right down, getting close to the try line. Ref blows the whistle. Do you remember this ref, Bing? I think we've seen him in, in at Nerfew tournaments, right? New England? I, I've seen, he's been around for a while. He's been at the Nerfew tournament, where I guess almost every ref in New England shows up for that. Yep. So uh, it'll be a scrum to Roger Williams. We'll see, uh, get our first good look at those good looking forwards from both teams. And let's see who's got the push in there. This could tell the tale. And of course, you know, rugby is really a fitness game, so. You know, we'll see who's got the strength now, but we also want to see who's got the strength later in the second half uh, coming down to the stretch. Collegiate rugby is all about fitness and athleticism. Not that club rugby's not. But... Well, it really is on every level, really, even international play. A lot of times the team that's got the fitness is the one that takes, you know, takes it down the, uh, the stretch. And you know, obviously a lot more skill at that level. Right. These guys are just getting going. So another scrum down. I believe this is going to be a U kids URI scrum. Yes. Okay. It's a URI put in. Yep. So they're defending. Probably trying to get this back to one of their uh, one of their either fly half or their fullback for a kick for touch. I don't imagine they're going to try to run it from here. Yep. They'll be kicking for touch and. Oh, all right. they found touch. Okay, not bad. It wasn't a boomer, but he did find touch. All right, this will be a line out to Roger Williams. Now we get a good look at the forwards from both teams. Uh, Roger Williams, number five uh, for Roger Williams. Who's that? Like Brendan O'Connell, number five out there. The big one. Oh, they're going along. Right. They win their line out as they should. Rock formed. Out to the out to the prop. Good ball control. Uh, and I don't lose know it. about that. They're gonna lose it. No, I don't know about that. I think that's a penalty. Playing that off the ground, uh, Tim. Trying to shove it back while well, the player, the URI player, was on the uh, turf trying to shove the ball back to his guys. Uh, you're not going to get away with that very often. Can't turn. Can't turn. So, no volume? So we just got just to gotta talk directly into the mic? Okay. Okay, looks like it's going to be another Roger Williams line out. Um, pretty much been in the, uh, they've been in Rody's end of the field. First yes. four minutes of the match. Yes, they have. Let's see if they go long or no, they're going short this time. Okay. A nice little ball. Turning a little bit. Okay. Oh, the ball goes to the turf. All right, URI pops out of it. All right, Tim, so it looks like the guys are getting a little feel for each other out here now. What to see where the soft points are, where they can get an advantage. But uh, Roger Williams has been camped out here for the first five minutes of the game so far. So we're going to have another roadie scrum down, looks like. Uh, the roadie scrum. Roadie looks like they have a, uh, their scrum half, which is really sort of like the quarterback almost. Looks like he's pretty uh, experienced back there. And okay, look at Roger Williams, Tim, blowing him off the ball. Driving him off the ball. I and think he called a no little knock on there, no? He did the ref, but um, I think he did. Yep. But he might have uh, let that go a little bit because it looked like Roger Williams is going to pick the ball up and, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, you, he was playing the advantage. You can't can no, play the advantage, advantage on that. The advantage not taken. Yeah. Maybe it was a double knock on. Well, 
this is going to tell us a lot here with um, Roger Williams putting the ball in. Let's see what kind of push they have in this set piece. And they're getting turned. Looks like he's going to be, oh, yes. Off the weak side, Tim. They turned him, they turned the scrum, URI turned the scrum in that direction. They just picked the ball up, Roger Williams, and took it right in. Nice play. Yeah, nice play by uh, Roger Williams. Take the early lead. Um, yeah, they've been down here the whole time, but, you know, it's still very, very early. No one, no one really powering each other as of yet. Well, except on that play, URI was, the, they turned the scrum and they turned in the direction. They left it wide open on that weak side for the uh, the second row for Roger Williams to take it in. I think that was O'Connell. I think that was number five. That or number eight. Oh, off the cross, off the upright. So, uh, that'll make the uh, early first score to Roger Williams. 5-0 to Roger Williams. Yeah, they're both teams still feeling each other out. Yeah. It's still very early. Oh, it's very early. Let's see if um, let's see if URI can put some pressure on uh, Roger Williams on this kickoff. Get the ball down in their zone. And a drop kick coming up. And looks like it went 10 meters. What has the ref got? <laughs> On the kickoff, it needs to go 10 meters, or maybe it didn't. So now he's going to bring it back and either offer a re-kick or a scrum down to Roger Williams. And Roger Williams elects to take the scrum down. How we doing, Mark? Okay, buddy? Everything, everything good? All right. Mark Simpson Daniels. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Coach of PC. There he is. Former Newport rugby star. <laughs> he said that's enough. Okay, Mark. All right, so another sc scrum down right in the center of the field. Ref blows it up. Someone is barging or something. Well, you know, it looks to me Roger Williams has some size here. I mean, their number eight is a big, rangy guy. They got a couple of big second rows. Um, let's see how this, how this plays out in terms of, you know, pack strength. And then just getting the ball around the pitch. Ooh, that didn't look straight in, but yeah, the ref it looked didn't like catch he fed it. that a little bit. All right, they're going for a switch. So out to Roger Williams. Oh, little burst. Good straight running by Roger Williams. Driving it down. Got some second phase action here. Out to the fly half, to the center. Again, good straight running, nothing sideways. All right. Okay, out to Roger Williams, backs again. A couple forwards out in the backfield, always good. Lost it there. One of the things, Tim, you want to watch for is the phases. If they can keep ball control, that's really what you want to do. Uh, you really don't want to knock it on. Um, you don't want to give it up and tackle. And Roger Williams is doing a nice job, although you are right. Just picked it up as I speak. Yeah, I mean, any, it's going to be controlled rugby, phase after phase after phase, as opposed to the home run ball. All right, nice. Ryland backs nice and steep on that. Also very, very important. All right, you or I get in second phase here, sloppy pass. Yeah, I think he's gonna call a knock on there off of the back of that uh, that scrum, that rug. Yeah, Rhode Island's backs were nice and steep on that one. They decided not to get it out, um, you know, to, to the to the wings, and took it in. Yeah, well, that that's the key to a good burst is having your backs nice and steep. I mean, when they start to creep up, they're starting to, you know, be a little more defensive minded want to get up and you know it's a more defensive mode when they're out yeah but and they're if, out very steep well right it's perfect you can see the whole thing right in front of us here the uri backs are steep from fly half to inside to outside center and then you can see the the roger williams backs they're all flat up in a defensive posture 
And if you get too flat when you're on offense, then you, you, you don't really have a burst of speed. You're sort of starting, you know, from a standstill. It doesn't really work that well. All right, so another URI scrum down. I don't think UR, URI has gotten it up to midfield, but I don't think they've been up over uh, into Roger Williams' territory yet. So the roadie, fly, roadie wing forward gets taken down. Second up, second phase. Good straight running by both teams. Yeah, that was a nice run there. Good set. Third phase to Rody. Good D by Roger Williams. Fourth phase, but not getting a lot of yardage on the phases. That's okay. Rody back still nice and steep. There's a skip. Skip and a burst. Oh, wow. Look at this play. Here's oh. nice. Stiff arm right there. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. He had the wherewithal to put it out. Keep possession. Possession is so important. That was a nice little run there. Good burst. That's again being nice and steep. Right. Their first time across the field. Let's see if they can do something with it. Brody still driving, maintaining control. Yeah, they lost a few y yards on, they, they mishandled the ball, so they got blown back. Ooh, look at that. Blown off the ball. It looks like, it, it looks like Roger Williams has it, Tim. They do. Back on the roadie side of the field. Okay. Is that a knock on? What's he going to call? Yeah, I think he's going to call, give the ball to URI. All the, right, uh, that'll the, be a scrum to Rody. Roger Williams scrum half. Uh, he knocked it on while he was trying to pull it out of the scrum. James Driscoll. All right, Rody scrum down. Okay, to Driscoll. Oh, inside. Looks like number 11 in the wing. Out to the prop. Rody, they're not making the, they're retaining possession, Rick, but they're not making the game right here. Yeah, they're not. I don't see their backs getting the, they're getting the ball sort of flat-footed and then not really getting ahead of steam, although there's a little bit. Right, at least he's to the gain line on that, Tim, and got, you know, some positive yardage. I, I do like the way the, uh, the Driscoll, the URI um, scrum half, is getting quick ball out there, trying to get uh, Roger Williams, you know, uh, flat-footed on the back feet and, you know, make a break. He's got a penalty on right. sides there. Yep. And they're going for the quick play. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. That could have been a little high. All right, second phase to Rody. Oh, oh good that was team. A, a hospital pass to. <laughs> Boy, he put that pass in there, and you know the the Roger Williams inside center was coming to right on him, hit him hard. What do we have here? Uh, we got a, got a URI substitution. A and a scrum to URI, right? And a scrum. Didn't tell yet. And to URI. Okay. While we're here, we just wanted to give a public service announcement that uh, we're selling Rody Cup t-shirts for $25. Some of the proceeds for the shirts are going to be going to the Daniela Maria Arturi Foundation for Diamond Black, what is that? Black Fan Anemia. Scott is selling t-shirts, so give him a visit. We also want to thank Rugby Imports for helping to make the t-shirts. So go get yourself a t-shirt.
Wick, how many roadie t-shirts do you have? Um, I have a couple that still of roadie t-shirts. That still fit you. Well, they're, they're, they're European cut now. European cut. They're a little tight, but, you know, they, they, they show the musculature. You know. Yes. All right, another burst by Rody. Rody's had some long runs, but nothing to show for it. Ooh, up ended there. That got the Roger Williams sideline excited. All right. Nice tackle, but they didn't get ball. Nope, they didn't make the game line either. Still not making the game line. I tell you, Roger Williams' the defense is, uh, is, is been pretty tough. Yep, very good. Keeping it down in Rody's half. I mean, they're Pretty all... Pretty the whole first quarter. Yeah, they're all spread out, Tim. Look at them, how they're spread out, and they're coming right up on the ball right away. Look at that. Yeah. Getting them 10 meters back behind the game line. Very good stuff. Brody driving again. I mean, URI is retaining... They've got ball control, but they're losing 20 meters. <laughs> they're supposed to, you know. Well, they've also had the, the two longest runs of the game, but nothing to show for it. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Oh, good, what good D by Roger Williams. Now, you know, one of the things they might want to look at if, if, if Roger Williams gets too spread out, a lot of times you can just take it right up the middle. And that was not a good play there. I think he's got offsides. Something. No knock on. Okay. That was a noggin knock on, yeah. Came right off the head. Okay, another roadie scrum down. Right on the 22 meter line. Rody out to the backs. Oh, I think that's another knock on. Yep, he's got it. Well, now, was it a knock on or a penalty? It looked like he knocked it on. Don't know. No, he's got a penalty. Not, not releasing the player, and it looks like they're going to kick for points here, Tim. It's interesting. Let's see what kind of a kicker they've got. It is right in front of the post, after all, right? Yeah, this is about as easy. Pretty much dead center. Well, back in the old days and not so old days with Newport Rugby, we'd probably pick it up and go for it. Yeah, it's still too early for that. Kick the, take the points. Take the points at this point, especially if you're ahead. And it's good. Yeah, it looks like it's good. So that'll make it eight zip. 21 minute, 21 minutes and change to go in the first half. It's a pretty nice little pitch here, Ben. I've never this been up to this. Is a very nice pitch. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice turf. And, and as previously mentioned, they actually have a booth here. Right. Very excited about that. Right. Rody kicks to Roger Williams. Oh, that looks like a knock. I think he's got that. Barely went 10 meters. And then immediately uh, the Roger Williams prop. Looks like Chris Bailey. Knocked it forward. All right, Chris, you can do it. I don't think Mr. Bailey agrees with that call. Oh, well. That's a good view to the scrum right here in front of us. Yeah. You got Driscoll, the URI scrum half, a little tap. On the prop, boom, here comes the ball. Set pieces are pretty good for URI. They're winning everything. Looks like a 
a switch that turned into a loop. Okay, that was a good play. Get down to the turf and get the ball, set, set up a little ruck. Nicely done. They've got this part of it going. I just don't see, for URI, any offensive oomph so far, you know? Well, again, they've had some, some good runs, but for the most part, they're keeping the ball, but they're not moving forward. There you just skipped a double skip. Yep. And a couple of fumbles, so they, it, it just seems like they can't get any momentum in the backfield so far. And, and part of that, obviously, is Roger Williams. The defense has been stellar so far. They're spreading out. Um, this is this pitch is a little bit narrow, or it's not maximum dimension width. So it would it would give a little, you know, a little advantage to a team that doesn't have as much speed. Can't you know you don't need you can't get outside, so you just run it up the middle. Excuses, excuses. Right, that you know, this, the, if the field's a little narrow, it, it benefits a team that uh, is more defensive as opposed to the. A, a running team that likes the field as wide as they can. Right. If, you know, that was a nice, nice line out with there by speed. Roger Williams. See now, Roger Williams, they're coming on that ball fast. He was at, he was almost at full speed, and look, they picked up, you know, they're back to the gain line and then something off of that. Getting it on the burst. Absolutely. Very important. And you see that difference. You can see the URI is a little bit on their back feet when they're getting the ball. And on that play with Roger Williams, he was uh, their their center was almost uh, at full speed on the burst. Okay, another. You are right. Certainly getting a lot of scrum downs with. It's not a lot to show for it. Okay. That'll work. That's a nice little kick. Let the members bounce. Look at that. Right up to him. He got the members bounce there, Wick. Yeah, he did, and it was a great little kick. It wasn't too far, so it fell in between the fullback and the uh, the front row guys. And then they did. They got that bounce. Came right back at him. A little bit of momentum. That was a nice pickup by the URI scrum half, not to throw that ball, because that thing was going to get picked off. Another fumble by URI, Tim, and it looks like Roger Williams is, is oh no, okay. Now what you got? So, so I think, again, he's got URI playing it off the ground there, Tim? Is that what you think? That's what it looks like. Yeah. This will be another penalty to Roger Williams. It was a suspicious uh, change of uh, ball control there from Roger Williams to URI. All right. Roger Williams kicks for touch. That's about 20... 20 meters. Not a great kick, but effective enough. He did fine touch. They will get a line out, and they've been pretty good in the line outs, Roger Williams. They got a couple of pretty tall kids. Yep, tall, tall, and they're getting lifted high. They're getting they're lifted really, up there and getting it. So. They've got a big height advantage in the line outs over Rody. Yeah, they have two or three uh, tall trees in there. Number four, Raj Williams getting up real high. Oop, that's seven. Look at that, holding him up. It's a nice play and really uncontested. That's a uh, knock on. Another knock on. <clears throat> that was really not really contested by uh, Rhode Island, that line out. So if that's the case, then they're going to win all their line outs. I think that's a big advantage for Roger Williams, don't you? Right, well, I think if, you, if you're that, you know, much at a height disadvantage, do you want the uh, your players, your your props, so whoever is holding up the one jumping to wear them out that quick, only to lose, well, to waste all that energy. That's a good point. Let's see how let's see how it goes as the game goes on. Yet another Rody scrum. Okay. 
and they have had far many more scrums than, uh, than, than Roger Ebbs. Oh, they're taking oh. the coming week. Coming week side. Oh, nice. Back to the scrum half, out to the wing. He had the run last time. He sets the ball for second phase. And straight. Ooh, that looked like they might have been offsides on that. The ref's uh, back was turned to him. Yeah, and Rody was, again, very flat there. Still flat. It's okay, keep the ball control. Look for an opening. Oh, again, right up the middle. Good tackling by Roger Williams. Again, take it down hard. Again, keep it possession, but losing ground. It, it's, uh, it's been their uh, modus operandi so far. Again, I think that, that Rody is still at maybe two or three of the longest runs of the day with nothing to show. Yeah, well, they have had a couple of good breakouts. They just had that weak side um, just a couple of minutes ago off the scrum. Roger Williams covered capably, though. They gave up about 20 meters. They bent, but they didn't break. And now they're right back in uh, URI in, in their half of the field. Okay, another scrum to Rody. And the Rody scrum half. Look at the ref. All right, guys, let's get this thing going. I think the ref's giving him a little. <laughs> Little tutorial in there. Little tutorial on how to line up for a scrum. Pause, touch, engage. Right. Well, that's changed over the years, huh? Absolutely. Ooh. Used to just barge just right in. Barge right in. Can't do that anymore. Ooh. Okay. Good run by Rody. Right up to about midfield. Second phase. Yeah, not a lot of ground gain, though. But retaining ball control. Boy, they are in the backfield. Look at, this, look at them, uh, Roger Williams, number seven. Who's that? Guys all over the place. Carl Anderson. What a great game. All right, well, there's no... Okay. Arcan. Rody maintains the ball, but still flat, not making the game line. Time after time, not making the game line. Yeah, and the other thing that I'm noticing too, Tim, is a lot of mishandling of the ball in the Rhode Island backfield. A lot of drop passes, you know, they're behind them, so they're retaining control, but they're losing five, 10 meters every time they drop the ball because Roger Williams is right on them. And I think the ref actually does have a knock on here. This will, so this will be a Roger Williams scrum. They haven't had many scrums. No, they they really yeah. I mean, uh, there's maybe four or five scrums the whole first half here. And you know how much the forwards love scrum downs. Oh yeah. And you know again for Roger Williams they have they 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 haven't been camped out down here in URI's uh, half of field, but they've taken advantage of the, uh, their opportunities. There's a switch. They make them, and they're making the game line every time. Roger Williams is. Out to number seven. Good burst by him. Good straight running. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's showing himself to be one of their top players, number seven. That's Carl Anderson. Nice job, Carl. Okay. Oh, look at this.
It's good hard running, I'll tell you. Okay, Roger Williams knocking on the door. Yet again. Ooh, right on the line. Mm -hmm. Nothing yet. Wow, that was close. Almost took that right into the corner. Brody needs to have someone back, their best kicker, ready to you know get this ball back to them and kick it out for touch. Yeah, man. they don't seem to have anyone back there waiting to do that. Okay, so it looks like a penalty. Maybe not releasing the ball, or yeah, playing it off the ground. I think that's what the ref is signaling. He kicked for touch. He had a tough angle there. He really couldn't get a lot of uh, yardage on it, so he just popped it up. But that's all right. Gained about 20, 30 meters. Well, he gave, yeah, he gave him a little breathing room. And uh, with the penalty, they're going to get the line out again, URI. They're going to get to get throw it in. Have we seen a URI line out yet, Tim? Oh, we're going to... Let's check it out now. See one now. Let's get our first good look at those good-looking URI forwards. <laughs> Now let's see if they can get some lift here. All right, not contested. Neither team contesting the lineups. They're just letting it go. I don't think that was a missed throw, too. I think he missed his man, but because yeah. it wasn't contested, they still they still able to get it. All right, All right. little pop kick by Rody. Nicely done. Ooh. Nice take by the hooker for Roger Williams. Roger Williams in, it looks like Vinny Newbert. Nice play, Vinny. Roger Williams was flat there. But again, they're uh, they're moving forward, making the game line. Well, well they are, and I, you know, I don't see URI you know, I don't see the aggressiveness on defense that I'm seeing from Roger Williams, you know, getting in their face in the back line. You know, that's the other thing. Nice, buddy. <laughs> Brendan O'Connell getting up a little gimpy, number five. Shake it off, Brendan. All right, so this will be a scrum down to Roger Williams. Just under seven minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, I think that was a knock on in the end of that play. Pop forward, then came right back again. I think this is going to be URI scrum. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a bigger crowd for the second game. Where crowd's starting to fill up now, as it should, because the home school PC will be playing in the second game and in the finals. Absolutely, the finals. That's correct. So. And so this is going to go uh, Marco Arcand. The URI scrum half. Arcand. All right, the roadie, very flat again. Pop kick. Oh! oh All right, yeah, he's got an advantage there. Let's see what you got. Uh, Roger Williams has the ball, so maybe they'll play it. Ref is playing the advantage. As he should. Looks like he took the advantage off now. <laughs> well, I think he's going to call. He's going to come back I for that. His hand, okay. Yep, I thought his hand went down. Well, they, he, they didn't really get beyond the gain line on where the penalty was. So I think that's a good call. But on that pop kick for URI, he, I think he was trying to go a little further downfield, but he had um, he had uh, number seven for Roger Williams Anderson right in his face again. 
and uh, just sort of misdirected the kick. He wasn't trying to pop it. The guy almost caught it and took off. Yeah, he almost caught it on the burst, too. Yeah. That was hard luck for yeah. Rody. Yep. I think he might have been able to come right, you know, just uh, split the middle on that one. And downfield. Hutcher Williams out to the fly half. Good burst. He's gone. Yeah, he's, that's history. That's their best run of the day. Great play. Great little burst of speed. He split the uh, the fly half of the inside center for URI. And I got to say again, Tim, um, URI was not really up on that play. He had a good five meter of running room to get to full speed on that, right? Yeah, and again, a uh, little uninspired there. In terms of the defense. So you get a guy like that who's got some speed and, you know, you get him up to full, you know, full revs. Now he's going to give you a little juke and take it right through the middle like he did. And that one was right between the posts. Kick is good. Okay. That'll make it 15 nil to Roger Williams. really seems to be dominating here but the score says that's not the case Roger Williams is playing a much steadier steadier game on offense and much especially on the defense well, I, I think both I just feel like you know their backs particularly Roger Williams are, are, are just more aggressive than uh, than you are both on offense and defense In another break. Another break. Yeah. This 20, 30 meters. Yeah. Good straight running. He was down. Didn't really got the ball. Got up. Kept going. Oh, nice pickup. Right, Pass right at his feet. Toughest one to catch. Nothing worse like getting that pass right at the feet, like I used to throw to you. Right? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> right at the shoelaces, big. I got most of them, not all of them. Well, see, and now the other thing you have with Roger Williams, Tim, is that, you know, there's, you know, you feel like you're playing downhill when you have a 15 to nothing lead. Right. And, you know, they're running uphill and you're running downhill. So they have to turn this momentum around and this thing can get ugly. Nice little pop kick. Well, knowing Coach Trainer, I'm sure the URI boys are, if nothing, very fit. Well fit, and you would think that, um, you know, at halftime, Skip, uh, Coach Barry, and, and Coach Trainer would, you know, try to make some adjustments if they can. Yes, there'll be a uh, interesting halftime speech. So I guess, uh, are they going to try and kick from here? Looks like it. Looks that way. Yeah, he's got the T. So if you're, up, if you're up by 15 points, what do you got to lose? I guess. Only a minute to go. I think it's a good call. This is a hefty kick, though. We'll see. No, it was, it was wide, but he had the he had the distance. He had the distance. Nice kick. So it served the purpose. Well, now they ran it out instead of touching it down, right, Tim? So, you know, Roger Williams has him pinned back here right on the try line. So it was a good, you know, it ended up being a good play there. A kick for touch and really not very good. That's going to almost do it. Time for maybe one more play, if that. All right, but as we know, we do have the clock here. It probably should be pretty close. I don't think we had any injury time, Tim, in the first half here. So 
So the, the referee keeps the true time, but it's probably going to be around the same. Even in international rugby, the uh, the time is kept on the field by the referee. So the injury time is not included in the... I'm going to say at the next whistle, we're going to be at halftime here. We'll see. So if you're Roger Williams, you want to keep this phases going. You don't want to drop it. Yeah, and you don't want it to kick it. You don't want it to go out of bounds. You don't want any whistle at all, really. No whistles, no touch. Just keep it going. Don't get pushed into touch. Otherwise, this half is over. Okay. Some good phase here by Roger Williams. There are only four or five, six phases going coming into this, at the end of the half. Oh, he scored. He knocked it forward, but I think he had pressure on the ball, Tim, in the try zone. I think that's a good call. Great play by Roger Williams there, not uh, letting the ball go to touch, because like you said, Wick, I think time had expired. That's real hard luck for URI to give up that Give up that try yeah, at the end of the right half. Right at the end of the half, the, the, last, the last series of the half. I mean, we were well in, into injury time you there. You can? Yeah, I am. And so they'll kick the uh, the points. Okay. And, uh, oh boy, URI okay, player's down. Good. He's hurt. A couple of guys down. But um, I'm pretty certain that after this uh, kick for the points, that, that we'll be at halftime. The only thing yeah. is, I don't know the ref will blow it up. Too bad. Be the too bad for, in, but uh, the time will keep well, the on, They'll be going in probably down at least 20 or 22 points as opposed to 15. Yeah, and you know, that's a big difference at halftime. I mean, you know, you... you Might be the socket. And, and also, that's a, you know... Yeah. It's a three-score game. Well, it's a three-score game, and that's a you know that's just a, any momentum you had. That's a momentum killer coming into halftime. Right. But yeah. was it zero to begin? Yeah, no good. good. No, it has enough. But... Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, so we've got another game after this. Score yeah. is and is this the only game? URI twenty. No, I'm sorry. Roger oh, Williams twenty. URI zero. We'll be back for the second yeah. half. Yep. Shortly. There is something we're going to have to. We'll get one. We'll get trained. Tough row to hoe here for URI in the second half. That's a, a backbreaker to give up that late try on the last play of the game, last play of the half. Let's see if they've been able to make some adjustments here in the second half. They go mid-deep. Roger Williams looks like yeah, that's Anderson again. Carl Anderson, nice little run up the middle. Driscoll. And Roger Williams again making the gain line. They're getting positive yardage on these plays. And here's a break. Outside center, nice play. Oh, he's going to take it to the house. Look at this. Nicely done. Roger Williams right off of the opening kickoff. Coming in for the try. Wow, that was good rugby. A couple of phases quick in the middle and then taking it outside. And on the burst. Roger Williams, number 13. That looks like it's... Matt... Matt Buonaluto, nice run, Matt. Well done. Way to take it on the fly. So Roger Williams scoring in the corner. And they'll have to bring it out parallel. This is a tough kick. If uh, number 10. Kieran Bennett. Ooh, nice try. Boy, I'm back. Did you miss me? I did, Tim. I missed it. Glad to have you back. You missed a try. I, well, I saw it walking up the... making the hike from the Slavin Center. Nice little burst. Um, the uh, inside center for Roger Williams. Jack Burns took it on the burst. The rangy redhead. And uh, then uh, shuttled it off to their outside center. Broke free and uh, was on the run. And he came on the burst. It was a really nice play. Yeah, I think so. Well, this could turn into a... This could get ugly. 
Well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Oh, right. funny, Roger William Bob, look at this good street running. Is that number seven? Yeah, that's our boy Carl Anderson again. He's having a great game. Pretty cool to have announced. Defensively yeah. too. And here's the burst. This is Burns. That's your guy. That's your namesake. My, my long lost cousin. Yeah, that's him. Your long lost red haired cousin. There he is. All right. Nice run, kid. Everyone has a long lost red haired cousin. So URI is going to get a chance here on the on the Roger Williams knock-on. Let's let's see if they've been able to make some adjustments. They really need to get those backs a little steeper when they win the ball. Uh, they need to come on the burst a lot more, and they need to be aware of of Roger Williams' defense coming through. If they're coming up, you really should be trying to pop it over their heads, and you know you can create a lot of havoc doing that. Um, so there needs to be a little bit more field awareness on URI's part in the yeah. second half. Yeah, and a little more aggressiveness too, I think. Well, yes, certainly on defense, yeah. Especially uh, from the backs. Okay, we're getting some more instruction here. Yep. Tutorial. Another referee tutorial. Making sure the backs are back 10, as you should. And here, this is a situation for, uh, for URI. They could make some hay here. Get it going. They got their fly half is nice and deep. Well, if they can bang in a score, I mean, they'll get a little momentum going. Like, again, I'm sure they're very fit. All right, see, well, yeah, that's not bad. They're coming up. He wasn't up, but that's a nice take. Really? Right. Oh, nice. It's stolen they're by you, all right. They're going to win the ball. Uh, okay, so he's going to play the knock on from. Roger Williams, but I would have let that go if I was a ref a little bit, a little advantage because it looked like URI had the ball. Unless they knocked it on too, then he would call the first knock on. Yeah, Roger Williams. I didn't see that. No, well, he's calling the Roger Williams knock on. Looks like it's going to be a roadie scrum. It's a roadie scrum for sure. And as we come into Sunset, the lights, lights are, are on. on, and everybody's home. Now we're all here. <laughs> Roger Williams is, is getting a lot lower in the scrums, Wick. Um, well, they're getting they're just, yeah. They're getting a lot lower, getting a lot of leverage. Yeah, that's right. They're getting underneath the uh, the front row of URI, and so just oh, look at this. Out of nowhere. Let's see, URI's got a little ball here on, on the fly. They could get something quick going on. Maybe they can punch one in. Number eight. Nothing going there. Yeah, we're trying to be as neutral as we can. Tim, of course, is a URI graduate, but um, we just want to see a good game. Absolutely. But I did not play rugby at you. No, you didn't. That's right. I did not. Your rugby career started at Newport. That's correct. I got one year of rugby in college after three years of soccer. Again, just look, look how low Roger Williams is. Yeah, and they are. They're pushing him off and... Ooh, look at it, he caught the fullback up. This is a dangerous play. Oh, right over his head. Again, the back bounce on the turf. Yeah. And, and Roger Williams has retained the ball on this kick. Nice play. And again, Tim, look, I mean, if you look at URI on defense, I mean, they're even flat-footed on defense. You know, come on, guys, get in this thing. Get up. All right, Roger Williams driving again. Digging the ball out. And they win it. Oh, and right up the middle, they were spread too far apart. I was talking about that earlier. Nice play by number five from Roger Williams. It's our boy Brendan O'Connell. 
Ooh. Okay, and again on the first, coming through, unstoppable. Roger Williams. There's some good phases there, Tim, and, and you know, that kick, they caught the fullback cheating up a little bit, kicked it over the head, it bounced back, retained control. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice kick. And then took it right in. The fullback up, also the wings head, had him back to the wall, and they just crashed on it, and then a good burst by number five to score. Brendan O'Connell. Brandon O'Connell, yeah, you didn't score. Brandon O'Connell put it away. I, I didn't see who scored, but it was just a nice, you know, two quick bursts coming right through and, and just broke through for the try. Wow, so now we're at 30 zip, Tim. Um, yeah, 30 zip with a lot of time to play. I mean, you, still lots of time to play. URI this needs game, to get something going pretty gonna, quick here. They've got to get something going very quick. What you do is, Wick, cut this down, maybe cut it down, get, 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 a, get a try by 20 minutes to go. I mean, uh... Well, you have a chance, I mean, but they gotta get some, they, they don't, they, you know, they don't have any momentum, but they don't have anything really going, you know? And they had a couple of nice kicks in the first half, they just weren't able to capitalize off them. And, the difference in the game has been when Roger Williams has opportunities, they capitalize on almost every one. Yeah. And here, here comes Anderson again. Look, he's he's tough to bring down. Look at that. He's running a little sideways there, but he still made the game line. Yeah, yeah Roger Williams is just taking it to him now. The, uh... Oh, that looked a little forward to me, maybe, but... Oh, oh he's got a man outside. Look at this. Yeah, he had a forward pass. I saw that. That was a forward pass. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, yep. Right there. All right. Yeah, well, good, good call. You had that, ref. That was the, the forwards inside, uh, number four to number five. How long have they been out there? They just, just got out, I think. Yeah, I've been here the entire time. Riley Butcher to Brendan O'Connell. Both halves? Yeah. They split it up last time. It's not cold. I don't really mind, but it's not too bad. Actually. All right, we'll have another URI scrum. Wait, URI has had. Did you have to spill in the last game? At least three scrums to every one for Roger Williams, it seems. <laughs> right, and in a, in a normal situation, you would think that that would greatly benefit them. If you, if I told you if that's the only stat I gave, you say, wow, this must have been, you know, a URI game or a lot closer. And it seems to be turning out. Yeah, and not a lot of lineups. No. I mean, this ball has been in play most of the game. That's a good point. Well, there's a knock. Oh, it looked like that was knocked backwards. All right. Out to the roadie outside center. Ooh, Ooh a lucky bounce there. That was a 4-2 with his bounce, but he's got a forward pass on URI this time. Out there. I don't have a good angle to see that one. But we'll go with you, ref. If you say so. What choice do we have? <laughs> well, if you're new, <laughs> well, if you're new for you're always complaining about the referees. <laughs> but he's doing a good job. Excellent job. He's doing a lot of uh, tutorials, but as you should in a college game. I, I agree. He's reffing a real a nice tight game. No one's well, you know, when you right, that's exactly right. When you talk about a referee, the biggest thing. Well, look at this. He's a tough runner. This kid he got about five meters there. Just drag the uh, URI player along with him. Not much there. Oh, another good straight running. Yeah, that's Burns. That's your boy Burns. Look at this. My boy Burns, my oh. radio cousin. Nice pass. Good put away. Holy cow. He was getting up headed when he made that pass. What a great way to put it away, Burns. Nice job. Wow. 
you see how much running room he had. He had 10 meters before there was a UI guy. Right. They're, uh, yeah, they're just getting it on the burst at full pace um, before they even get the ball. And that's how you break through the, uh, the defense of UI. Yeah. And, you know, they're getting caught flat-footed. They're not coming up. And that's what's going to happen. These guys got some, you know, you give somebody a full head of steam and see that kid's going to be tough. That big redhead, he's going to be tough to bring down. Yeah. This is Zoom. This like, oh, we got it. Yeah. Okay, that one was wide to the left. I mean, you know, but they're still banging, you know, five points here, five points there. So now it's Roger Williams 35, Rody 0. And let's see if you or I can get something going. Well, it is getting a little bit more desperate now. But still a lot of time. I mean, before they score, they've got to get the ball in Roger Williams' half, which they really haven't done much of it. Uh, in this second half. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a pretty good aggressive run there. I like that. I was good by URI. Mm. Well, you, Roger Williams steals it. Well, he's running a little sideways, but he's, they're making the game line. Yeah, he's going to call a knock on there. That's a knock on on Anderson. And so here's a chance for URI, Tim, right? You know, right on the 22 here. Well, like you said, they're d they're down in uh, Roger Williams' end for you know, one of their few appearances on in uh, Roger Williams' territory. So let's see if they can do something with this one. It'll be their scrum again. We have Arcan, Marco Arcan. Do you hear that out game? The URI scrum I suck. I think we have a game next week, though. Like Friday night. I mean, he's scrappy, but he's been hassled a lot by, uh, you know, by the the, the pack of uh, Roger Williams. Yeah, yeah. The tap on the back, and that's a nice ball, uncontested this time by Roger Williams. Right to the fullback, unfortunately. Okay, that was well played by the Roger Williams fullback, and he knew immediately to get that ball down to the turf, touch it down, and now they'll get a 22 drop. They're coming quick. Oh, look at this. Coming quick and Rody not ready. Uh -oh. oh, nice play. That was a wonderful play. Uh, he almost he almost caught his own pop. He almost caught his own grubber there. With. On the burst. Yeah, that was uh, Karen Bennett. Nice play by the young man. All right, it's a good run. All right. Second phase to URI. They're going to win their ball again. Third phase, the skip. Ooh, another kick. Doing a little more kicking now. Oh, boy. Ran into each other. Ran it, but didn't lose the ball. You know, and I think... That is one of the adjustments that URI has made is we were talking about this at halftime, which is before the half, is that little mid-kick if, if, you know, if those backs are coming up so quick, they're creating gaps right behind them, and you can, you know, you can pop that kick in there. And you got to do, try to pretty much do anything to generate a little offense now. Get, get one of those to bounce up, catch it on your own burst. Right, you, went, you know, what those pop kicks do, you see the international play too a lot more these days, they're, they're pop kicking, it creates havoc. You know, because the, you don't know where the ball is going to bounce. Sometimes they catch it, then they drop it. So they're trying to create some havoc. I think it's a smart move. And they've also, they've also got a... Look at that, he didn't find touch. Ooh, good block. Well, I did partially block that, which is good. That was going to go over... Right over all the URI. Roger players. Williams was a, Tim was on that ball quick. I wonder if the ref missed an off, uh, you know, an offside call on that kick. Isn't this the heat chair from the ref? 
Yeah. Oh, that popped out to the side, went to Roger Williams. Okay. He wrapped a couple of OJ. Oh, nice pickup. Shoelace pass. Nice shoe top pickup. Right. Roger Williams driving URI off the ball. Another kick. They're going to do a lot more kicking now. Whoa, what a beautiful kick. Yeah, that was a great kick. I mean, right. Oh, look at this, though. <laughs> Broke the tackle and got 10 meters. Now what do we have? Two hands down there. All right, so rodeo kick for touch here. Again, they got a real bad angle being on the short side of the field. But uh, let's see what they do. And they don't find touch. No, they hard can't luck, find touch. Hard luck. Uh, you got to find touch. But a nice, nice play, though, by he came up and made the tackle, Tim. All right. Here's Roger Williams still has the ball. Yeah, penal looks like a penalty to them again. They're taking the quick penalty this time. Driving. Keeping the ball. Can we do another scrimmage? I would do that. Yeah, woman have the field. We definitely have a game next Friday night. He's still cold, Wick. Freezing. Freezing. He used to sit outside and a lot colder than this, and we're fine. You must be getting old. <laughs> no, it's just guys are awesome. standing down at the Fort Adams for three or four hours out in that wind. That'll get to anybody. You've had a full day of rugby between the bachelorette rugby and <laughs> high-level collegiate rugby. <laughs> it's been all day rugby. Nothing better than that, though, Tim. As you know, folks, the bachelorette was filmed in Newport today with the Newport Rugby Club. The My compadre, Rick Rudd, was there. Coach Mark was there, I think. So the bachelorette segment oh my God, coming up so will have bad. rugby. Coach Mark was there. Got the hair oh, is he in it? Yeah, he's in it. Today. Yes! Got the hair oh, yeah, yeah, I did. In beautiful Fort Adams in Newport. Oh, right inside the fort, like, actually. Uh, happened, which but. is unique. The first time we did that was uh, against Providence last year. And in fact, actually, we'll be playing Providence down in Newport next week, inside the fort. So come on down. There'll be all kinds of refreshments, beer and wine, and uh, and a, a full a full uh, a menu, a full outdoor menu. And that's inside the fort. Inside Fort Adams, yeah, very unique uh, venue. Very very cool. And that'll be for the Rhode Island Cup, which is for the club teams. And today, or the next game will be for the Roadie Cup. The Roadie Cup, okay. This is the Roadie Cup. Both well named. Ooh, oh, he didn't knock that on. Stayed with it. No, he, no, he oh, did. Oh, he called yeah, it. He I called thought he knocked it. that back. Right? Yeah, it looks sideways. I mean, had a bad angle. I, he might have, but I mean, I you could go either way on that. I think. You know what I was going to say earlier is is the, the refs, you know, giving instruction to the kids. I think that's a good thing. But what you really want to look for in a referee is you want to look for mostly control of the game. So if you see a, a rugby game with a lot of fights breaking out and you know stuff happening, that means the ref has lost control of the game. It's not a good ref. This guy's doing a great job. I mean, these guys are just playing hard rugby and, and haven't had it. I haven't seen any, any chippiness, Tim, really at all. Eight-man pickup, that's nice. Again, a drop pass off for URI. And probably a knock-on. It looks like that's going to go to Roger Williams on the, on the URI knock-on. Yeah. Anyway, URI's got the ball down in the Roger Williams 
side of the field. Let's see if they can generate something from this opportunity this time. So Wick, were any of the Newport Ruggers teaching the bachelors? Yeah, we had. Uh, yeah, we had uh, four four of our players, uh, 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 a couple of forwards and a couple of backs. Um, our former captain Jude Car Carrison, um, Brandon Marshall, our current captain, Adam DaCosta, and uh, James King. And James uh, came over during one of the breaks and, and and swore at everybody he was getting the rose tonight from the Bachelorette. So we'll see. Even though he's not a bachelor. <laughs> he's not, he's just, <laughs> He's just teaching rugby. <laughs> oh, nice kick. Look at this. Ooh, that was a lovely kick. It was, as they say, overseas. And they're going to win the ball. They say overseas in Ireland, he's got a sweet slipper. Oh, these guys are freaking amazing. Can we have them do arts for now? Oh, URI comes out with it, though. They're going to try and run it out of there. Nice. Shows a little bit of heart there, Tim, for your boys. Yeah, they're trying to run it off. Huh? And they're gaining some, some ground here. Gaining some ground and keeping the ball. Okay, so the penalty is going to go to URI against Roger Williams. It looks like it was a little argy-bargy there. Again, they're kicking, kicking from the short side, so tough angle, but they do find touch this time. That's good. They haven't found touch the last couple of... Uh, the last couple of penalty kicks, yeah. last couple of penalties they've had. So nobody, nobody has been contesting the lineouts. I don't think we're going to see that in, in the second game. I think we're going to see a lot more con contesting of the lineouts, trying to poach one here and there. You got to guess right. That's part of it. Where is the ball going to get thrown? So nobody even jumped on that one. That looked like an old time lineout, Tim. Remember when you couldn't jump? <laughs> Or you couldn't lift. You could jump, but you couldn't lift. A bunch of old heads. Yeah, dude. Right. Well, that's what, again. That's why I. Back in one my theory: day. if you're not well, contesting, uh, it's not to drain the strength or uh, endurance from the the poor, you know, the player that has to hold up the jumper. Sometimes you're holding him for quite a while, and if he weighs 250 pounds, that'll wear on you after after 80 minutes. <laughs> Good. All right, let's Roger Williams line out again. Not contested at all. No, and they kept a couple guys out of the line, so they've got a full backfield there. And again, another nice burst by Roger Williams right up the middle. I don't know what the call is. A lot of chatter from the ref. He's doing a lot of explaining. It's a lot of. Uh, He's an instructional referee. Instruction. Yeah. No guy last week just let him kill Yeah. Very <laughs> lean Oh, this guy's good. We had him a couple times last year. This guy for, the, for our game looks like a character. Really? His haircut. Oh yeah, look at that dude. Oh, the yellow good? Are you talking about that ref on the side? Yeah. Right? I was talking about this guy right there. Who is that guy? Is that a girl over yeah. there? Is that a girl ref? No, it's a guy. Is he doing our game? <laughs> is he doing the next game? I think he is. That was a nice little break off the weak side there, uh, Tim for uh, Roger Williams. Yeah, Roger Williams is staying right with Well, both teams are staying right with it. You know, 
There's no quarter being given or taken in this game. Well, you know what? And you are right to the credit. They're not just lying down. And, you know, I mean, this is the type of game that can end up being 60 nothing. you know. And, and they're fighting hard. Is it Roger winning? Or Give credit for that. Roger. All right. Roger Williams is down there again. Did he, did he score? Yeah, it looks like they put it in over there on the, in the corner. I need some glasses. <laughs> Binoculars. Yeah, up here in the booth. It's about as far as it's about as far away as it gets from here. <laughs> yes, this is even farther than the hill at Fort. Ed. I would say so. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of warm. It's so warm. Huh? All right, so. We're up to 40 mil. If I'm working the camera while I get to, like, you know, oh, yeah. yeah. It looks to me like URI's bench is, is, oh, is pretty empty over there. I think there are maybe one player on the sideline for URI. Yeah, there's a few. I counted. They've got their warm ups on now. I counted at least three or four. Oh, okay. Really I see over there. Yeah, I'm about to play the 22. Where are you yep. ordering a burger from? Cheesecake uh, Factory. Oh, cool. Are you getting Uber Eats? Uh, DoorDash. And again, I. That, that conversion was not no good, correct? Yeah. The score will remain 40 to nothing with the misconversion by Roger Williams. Yeah, the, the game's pretty much out of hand, but let's see if URI can bang bang a try or two in here. Well, you know, this Finish is, up strong. I mean, you know, they're they're not giving up. I mean, they're you know, it, it would be nice for them, you know, to show a little bit of heart and maybe try to take one or two in. That that'd be I think you can take something away from that, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, so this is be the this is the last game of the year for these two teams, correct? Um, no, I know they've got sevens. No, there's other stuff going on. Oh, is there? Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean we're just at the end of March. Oh, so they've sure got a. I think this is yeah. There may be one or two more things going. Mm -hmm. Roger yeah. Williams wins their ball. It looked like Roger Williams. Yeah, they, they're, their boy Anderson's out, number seven. So he's one of the top kids. And here comes his bell. He's on his horse. Who's playing for it? Who got caught up? Still on his feet. Still driving. Leaving the ball. Nice play to present the ball. Good fundamental rugby for Roger Williams. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, they've they substituted Roger Williams, uh, you know, four or five players. So they're feeling pretty comfortable that this uh, game is uh, well in hand. Dell. I mean, you know, again, URI is, is, is fanning out, but they're not coming up. And they're not coming up together either. They're creating gaps, which have been exploited the whole game by Roger Williams. It's tough when you're down this much, this few time to go. They're just trying to play it out. <laughs> okay, another substitution for Roger Williams. They're trying to get some of their guys in there. Um, Wing forward, number six. Now, what's the substitute? Substitute in college is unlimited subs, or are you? Dan Gnidek. Nice job, Dan. <laughs> Just gave me the thumbs up. All right, Dan, way to go. Roger Williams was, like, honestly hanging in there against Salvage. Oh, nice burst. Number 23. Hey, he took that right around the corner. Dude, I Nicely literally done. we were trying to play each other, but he transferred. Sam Wine. Yeah, just... Number 23. I think Salvi good. I think we're not. I don't know. I watched them. I thought that Salvi was good. They're in a good division. Really? They're heavy, you know, I think. Yeah, but their tactics, the we, we, we're, we're going to expose back. them on the backs. Oh, absolutely. Our backs are, are going to expose them. I saw it. Mean, Roger Williams is, you know, with five, six substitutions in here. It really doesn't look like they're giving up too much. No, they're not. So some, uh, some pretty good, you know, B B players coming in. Rubber's actually been playing so well. It's like maybe URI has a sub or two. 
Rebels is playing. Not at this point, I want to get everybody in there. Including when you win at 40 nothing. All right, now the URI scrum down. Deep in their half of the field. But they're not kicking for touch. They're trying to run it out of there. Yeah, it didn't work this time. Roger Williams picked it off off the ground. Oh, there it is. That's all badness. Okay. I mean, I don't know. What do you do, though, you know? Oh, you can't doing? ask the subs to. Uh, well, you know, you feel up. like you feel like you want to control the ball and take it down the pitch and score, but you know, you're taking chances, and this is what happens sometimes. So, another try. Roger Williams on the pickoff on the on the very short end of the field there. Yeah. Hey, you got to give him credit. Playing a heck of a game. I'm so, I feel bad for you guys, I love it. Yeah, it's dumb. Alright. Looks like that was good. That's good, that'll be 47 now. Right between the posts. Yeah, Raheem, you bring that water! <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna have a great crowd for the second game. Looks like things are up a look like they're filling up. The hometown crowd. I'm sure Salve will have some travelers coming up from uh, from Newport. <clears throat> Although I think all the the uh, co-ed undergraduates at Salve were out at the uh, at the bachelorette. At the bachelorette event. I think there had to be all of them there. We had to be all of a thousand anyway. Did they film the bachelorette? Probably more. Yeah, yeah. Coach helped. Yeah. Coach is there. Mark was there. Like, show the bachelor. He was in it? Yeah. Oh, he might be in it. Like the show the bachelor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. Why not put the ball in the air again over the top on that, Tim? And a dangerous kick again. Covered, with, covered nicely by Roger Williams. Here we go. Right back in the soup. I guess Mark was like... Oh, yeah. Obviously, he's in charge. He's in charge. I don't think he's waving it off. Looks like Roger wants it. Roger Williams wants it. I think he's got a knock on. Probably comes out in the summer or something. A knock on to who though? Probably the summer. If it was a URI knock on and they scored, that, wouldn't that be a score? I literally watch every single episode until I get to that point. Then Who's the ball going to? It looks like it's going to Roger Williams, so he must have blown the whistle before before that all occurred. But once again, off of that kick over the top, Tim, right? Right, over the wing's head, at the wing, running backwards, and then just came crashing down on him. Not a lot he could do with that play. No, but I mean, he should have been further back. That'd be my sense. Whoop, that thing just popped right out. Comes their prop trying to take it in, pulling it in. And he made a nice fake there for a prop. Yep. He sold the dummy and then tried to take it in, but URI was there. That ball is going to come out. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. Double knock on. Okay. Oh, which knock on is he going to play? It looked like there was a knock on into the try zone by Roger Williams. I'm going to guess this is going to be URI's ball. Unless he's got a pen. No, he's got a, It is a scrum down. Right, so he's going to play that first knock on by Roger Williams' uh, scrum half into the try zone. Yeah, you are right on their heels again. But they do get the put in at least on the five meter uh, line. And another substitution for Roger Williams. Out there, number eight. 
And uh, really effectively an uncontested scrum there too. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll just replay this then. Back to what we just had. Except I think this time it's going to go to Roger Williams. As it should. All right, Roger Williams put in, and and again, it's a not contested. I mean, is that the ref doing that, or? Or they're just deciding not to contest it. There's Sam Wine. Well, he's there a he little scat back. He took it in, Tim. Yeah, right he's, the far a little, side. he's a little run above. Nicely done. Yeah, he's a good player. This is like watching. Good little player. Chief just get fullback. Is that what he's playing? Fullback? It looks like he's playing fullback. Okay. Yes. I think he's playing. Nice job. Apparently, this is the URI is like mostly B side though, uh, yeah. because their A side has like a tournament tomorrow. It doesn't make sense. They do so well. He's got some wheels. He's actually really good. Yeah. All right. Well, we're like, coming down to the short strokes here. Boards that are actually good that are flying. Like Pete's not playing anymore. Got a minute and a half left. Where the hell? Why have you? Is Moose coming down to the short strokes? Moose is playing. Just like Satch. Just like Satch. We all want to do it just like Satch did, don't we, Bing? Yes, we all want to do it just like Satch. Former URI rugby captain and also Newport rugby captain. That's correct, that's right. He was a UR. Jim Satch Sullivan. He played rugby at URI for, I think, seven years. <laughs> he was on the seven year plan, huh? Yes. All right, so that was a miss. Yes. Tough conversion in the corner. Yeah, we missed the game-winning kick. Yeah, we literally. And URI the I will kick come and <laughs> kick it back to <laughs> Roger Williams. And then Rogers. There's no time left to kick it. Away. Rogers had Coming like down a the final try, seconds like here of uh, oh this game, which is major which is yeah. didn't look like it at the very beginning, but it's really been all uh, obviously no, Roger uh, Williams. And the literally the score is. It, it, it looks like uh, was, URI pl played okay because Roger Williams just took it to him. And, uh, well, they, they, they took advantage of their opportunities. And URI made some breaks, but they, they weren't able to take it in. Right, they couldn't capitalize. They couldn't capitalize on their breaks. They couldn't put two or three breaks together, whereas Roger Williams did. That's it. Uh, we got to wait for a whistle. Oh, that's right. We're in injury time. Yeah, he's going to kick it for touch. And so that'll end the game.